Welcome to the podcast. I am your host, Ryan, aka Rhino King, and with me is Theo, aka Tico Love. And I'm just gonna go straight into business, Theo. Slide right through so you guys can hear my sexy voice. Why are you talking like that? Why not? That, it's that, really calm and relaxed. That's weird. You sound like okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, yeah, what are we gonna be talking about? Uh, you said you wanted to bring up Trump. I mean,. He trumps everything right now, doesn't he? Um, no pun intended. Like no, the pun was intended. Okay, fair enough. Guilty for that. Yeah. Come on. But listen, people on CNN have been doing it way worse than I have, I guess. Well, of course, because but... CNN. <laughs> Imagine how bad Fox is. Oh my goodness. I, um, I think I said this before to um Rhino King, mm-hmm. but yeah, this guy's gonna be the president of the United States. Oh God. And at I... least, at least, um. That's what I think. I, that's why I seriously think because I'm seeing a lot of these patterns, and I'm there like people who are actually watching this, and they they can see the patterns too. Mm. If he's not finishing first in these states, he's finishing at least second. And I'm just there like this is the same guy that said, and I quote, "Some Mexicans are criminals." No, he said some are criminals, some are rapists, but I'm sure the rest are okay. Some meaning for me, fifty percent. This was on a meaning video. Half. We are not making this up. This was on a video. I actually had to show Phil this video because he did not believe me. I did not believe him because I thought you say, oh, a few. But he actually said some. Yeah. I'm just there like, wow. The same guy that said, okay, we're going to pretty much ban Muslims or do some scrupulous investigation into why they're coming to this country. Yeah. And the thing is, you pointed out. You pointed something amazing. Uh, you pointed something out to me that was like, I actually did not think about this. Mm. It's not so much that people really like Trump, although I'm sure a lot of people probably do. Yeah, I'll go go into that, but go on. It's the fact that you mentioned that it's, how, it's the, who he's up against. Yeah. How much they don't like the person he's up against. That and also, I'm starting to realize, uh, because they, broke up, they keep bringing up and referring to the polls about why there is they're voting for Trump or why there is they are acting this way, this behavior, this choice, and they're pretty much mad at the government. For what? But cocking up i don't know this whole obamacare and whatnot I, I i'm not i'm not american so don't don't ask me for the solution yeah but, don't quote um yeah hillary clinton simple as that hillary clinton um it's funny because um, i remember uh one of the speakers on cnn one of the women yeah women to be um correct she was pretty much saying like she wouldn't vote for her and I'm there like, listen, <laughs> and I'm there like, listen, this is your best chance to have a, a, a woman as a president. The best chance. I mean, like, she is killing it with the African-American folks and whatnot. Mm. Like, how could you not back her? But no. And I'm just there like, <laughs> she wouldn't really go into detail. But mm. I guess I get the feeling that I think this is a, a lot of Americans feelings. Uh, but for a woman to say, not really, I'm not interested. Mm. So I think there's something dodgy there. I don't think but, dodgy. I just think maybe she's just bad. I get a strong feeling um, based on what they're talking about. She highly incompetent woman from a, a job at um, state of secretary or, mm. sec- or secretary of state to be exact um, about this whole email rubbish. Um, I don't want to get into that because we don't actually know the actual facts. No, it's all speculation. No exactly. Rumors. So sometimes they're trying to derail her or say, try yeah. to discredit her. So, yeah. I think you've learned a lot from House of Cards. <laughs> um, it's just you said that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll bring that up later on. But yeah, going back to what I was saying about Trump, if not first, second. This is guy that is... People are saying he's promoting white supremacy. I'm not going to get into that. But for me, he's promoting pretty much American supremacy. Yeah. And I'm there like... You, I, I think I can only remember maybe one or two states where you finish third or fourth. But all the rest, first or second, what does that tell you? For me, he's going to be president. So it doesn't matter whether it's um whoever the competitor is, is on the other end from Republican to Democrat. Mm. So... 
the only competition for um, Hillary Clinton is um, Bernie Sanders. I, I hope I pronounced his name right. Don't know. Yeah, I, he's I, just I, some old guy. Um, yeah. You'll probably remember him or he would remind you of like one of those old head teachers back, that we had back in the years. Like proper neck crouch. Like, I, sh- I shouldn't be being this graphic and terrible, but yeah um he seems all right but i'm just there like no this whole african-american vote or this whole ethnic ethnic group vote against hillary clinton for hillary clinton i think she's gonna win it but wow Mm. first or second for trump and i think he cleaned up yesterday on super tuesday today's wednesday here for people who don't know oh my goodness yeah and how would you feel if trump actually won uh people need to move to canada (laughs) <laughs> and I think Americans don't like Canada, so it's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you what, you, what are you gonna do? I think put some, down those flags now. They're too proud for that. I personally see nothing wrong with Canada. I mean, they got a large population of Asian women, so you always get, you always get my Ooh, vote in Canada. Yeah. So I'm cool, Canada. No, but in, in, in all seriousness, I. What can I say? You know, if, they, if you know if Trump wins, honestly. You know how it looks. I think we we discussed it. Um, at least the world knows how it looks. Even though they're voting because they're looking past the whole race thing mm. or whatever. Um, Trump is saying they're just angry at the government, but I'm still there. Like, oh no, they don't give a fuck about the race thing. Mm. No, I mean there was a heated discussion on CNN about about the whole KKKK. Excuse me, KKK. But but the, f- yeah. but the thing is, they don't actually give. That's the, the reason they they're talking about that on like the news. Is because they that's, have to. A, that's a story. They that, have to. That is something that, that that's can, something that they always bring up. Yeah, but, yeah, they can exploit that. Yeah. But in terms of actual people, they don't give. They don't care. Mm. It's, I mean, like, like they they've had like KKK rallies and whatnot down there doing their mm. thing officially and all that stuff. And it's one of those things. It's just like, no, you know, it's a nothing thing. Yeah, the yeah. people that actually care about the whole about the distinguishing like the distinguishing of racism part about it is. The people are actually of colored or a minority or something like that, and it's, mm. and it's one of those things. It's like, ah, yeah, it's just a sticky situation. I mean, I'm just there thinking to myself, we can compete against him, Hillary Clinton, really, but it doesn't matter. I just feel like this is closed book for yeah. me. Trump is gonna get it. There's no, there's no point waiting till November. <laughs> like, if Arnold Schwarzenegger was still in politics, he probably would stand a chance. Um, I think he was talking about this how he's um, love life got out of the press and I it's know, too late for but him. But who, what person in politics? Exactly, has that's what I'm saying. Sooner or later, it's not gonna come out for the rest of them. But yeah, a lot of people. Because have you never heard? I can't remember who it was, but someone who basically got a blowjob behind us. Uh, um, uh, Bill Clinton. That was it. Yeah. And he, he <laughs> people actually liked him more after that. I mean, that's just amazing. Like, how can a girl get so fa- so famous for sucking a guy's dick? It's just like it's amazing. I think um, it's because he was did it Dave Chappelle bring it up, and I was just there like he's right. Yeah, because he did it. Because he, he he didn't give a fuck, and he did it right in the middle of a, of a speech, and it's like. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. that's like you're a legend yeah. like you're supposed to be the most important person and you're you're having this and like you fun. became the most important person when you did that exactly like you, you boosted one of your us. your reputation i guess you are a horn dog <laughs> like the rest of us you are one of us yeah, and, yeah. one of us one of, of us, us. Mm. no but no the reason i say honest question honest would probably be a good candidate is only because not because of his actual is actual experience or anything like that just mm. because people would want people one want the terminator being in the white house <laughs> two they're probably thinking because he is the terminator the the, the machines will go go easy on us in the future yeah. and three funny they, guys funny guys yeah they want demo, they want demolition the actual demolition man you know the um oh yeah the, the um the, that actually come true when oh he yeah becomes president of, of the united states demolition man was um the other actor so, Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone, yeah. but in the in the movie right um, what was oh yes, name? they did mention it. Yes, um, is it Arnold Schwarzenegger becomes president of the yeah, United States? Yeah, yeah. They it's were, funny, and it's funny because they pred- It's f- weird how a lot of films predict things like that. Maybe they just got into um, um, what is it? Arnold Schwarzenegger pretty much planted that seed in there. True, but Maybe. you know, like because right now, you know, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. No, 
You know, or, or maybe it's not coming to my head. Uh, you know the game where it has the guy who has augmentation, like it replaces arms with robot arms. Mm -mm. It has been a while, but yeah. The reason I bring that up because they actually predicted augmentation, like ampu you know, no, Wait, the amputees. game, the the yeah, the yeah, game. yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me, I was thinking about a show. No, no, sorry, the game. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. So basically, they actually predict because people they actually are working on like, synthetics. Yeah, yeah, basically augmentation, you know, for prosthetic arms and whatnot. They're doing that in, uh, the promoting that in the campaign. I'm sure nobody touched the campaign mode on um, Black Ops uh, Three, but I think you I can see that, it. The, I mean, like I the saw that on the trailer. The first, the first arm um, specialist, the, yeah. the 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 default specialist is like half man, half machine, really. Yeah, and also um, that's like the Black Robocop, really. One of my favorite, one of my more favorite ones, the um, the Seraph. Mm. The, the profit Asian. that's what he's called no, profit. no 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 i'm not talking about profit i'm talking about seraph the, the no no woman. i'm saying yeah oh yeah yeah, him, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so the seraph um the asian woman probably the next one you want the first one you unlock mm. through leveling mm. yeah she, there's actually a story where if you listen to her recording she actually tells the story of how she becomes a part of this uh, this group called the 99 dragons mm. or the f no 35th immortals sorry mm. so basically she goes through this initiation because her father is apparently the leader of the group. Right. So basically, but she wants to prove herself, be like she's not daddy's girl. Mm. So she, basically, she trains martial arts, guns, all that stuff, military stuff. And then in her on her initiation, she goes up and there's a big there's a big um, party and whatnot, you know, mm -hmm. uh, official thing. She grabs a she grabs an a, a very nice serrated Don't knife. Don't tell me she beheaded her father. No. Nope. Okay. okay. She okay. carved her own hand. Just to get a synthetic hand. No, she cut it off because that's the initiation. As as oh, a show, right, as a demonstration, as we will do whatever what it, it takes. takes. Almost like a martyr. Yeah. yeah. And basically replace that shit with a robot arm. Huh. I get it. Yeah. Suicidal, but I get it. Yeah, she 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 is. She, she, yeah, she's psychotic. <laughs> I think it's just their culture or their what is it? Their Ain't initiations. Nothing. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I didn't go into details with most of these specialists and their... Oh, you should, because it's actually quite... Their story. The, the thing is, I might brag about the multiplayer. The thing I would say is that the specialists each have a story, and it's very good. I especially love the Reapers one. Cause um, you got all the audios? No, I actually found them out on YouTube. Oh, okay. I, see. I can't bother to do all the audios. Cause <laughs> yeah, them. because I only got like two or three out of like... 12. I can definitely say I got all the audio for um the battery. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I definitely got that. I think that was the first one I got. She, was, she was like in a party speaking with um the other guy. Yeah, the, other the uh, what, what's the guy? The guy ruin. They're ruined. They're ruined. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. Yeah, because the, the, dude, if you go into the, if you actually listen to some other audios, mm. they're actually talking about because they actually work together very closely. Yeah. So I'm thinking this is a team right, right there, and there's actually a story they actually tell where um they they're behind enemy lines, mm. they're killing, they're, they're, they're like killing everyone, mm. but then they come into a room, everyone's already dead. Is that huh? And and you know who's you, you, you know who's there standing? There's only one person alive, the motherfucker. What, what's his name? The one that goes invisible, the one that has the, the blades in his hands. I know who you're talking about. The one with the ripper hands and the armor. Yeah, camo camo uh, the, and the camo, camo. Yeah, 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 yeah. He and the, there's an ongoing story about how him and the ruin don't like each other because they, I think he's awesome. Yeah, but the thing is, he straight up says, "I'm better than you. Yeah, you're nothing but a soldier." I mean, he just goes on like a, an assassin compared yes. to a woman who's pretty much like a sho uh, soldier. Yeah. Grunt, if you want. So I'm just there like, huge comparison. One of the best friend, buddy friends in in that in the audios is the Reaper when he's talking to uh, the uh, the one you just mentioned, the Prophet. Because mm. the Prophet is all about, I love machines. The Reaper is... Uh, the robot. This full robot. Oh, the robot, oh, yes. Yeah. All metal, everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just talking and the Prophet is like, wow, you're actually quite sophisticated. I mean, you're a standard model, but you have a, you're a fully designated AI. And he's like... Mm. And then the robot is just talking to robot talk, affirmative. Mm. And then the, you, the robot was telling, his, was telling his story about how... He went and killed everyone who made him. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And then the prophet was like, wow, that's some that's some good work. Did he say why? Yeah, because uh, they were illegally selling, uh, basically selling his brothers to um, to the black market. I see. So he's essentially, that's patricide. Yeah. And I think matricide. And then he basically, ta basically this is what the prophet asked. All right, so now that you're free, what are you going to do? And then the the reaper and I can imagine a smile that's on his weird robotic face, yeah. just saying, "Reap." That's all he said. 
Oh yeah. That when the, the prophet asked him, "What are you going to do next?" and he just said, "Reap." As in, rest in peace. No, because he's the reaper. All oh, right. So he's he's. He's gonna kill everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything between him and. His so death. that prophet must have run away. Yeah. No, that prophet was like, "Yeah, I'm sticking with you, mate." Uh, okay. All right. You were awesome. They're like, you idiot. He's gonna no, no. kill everything. No. No. I, I, I know he's trying to befriend him, but I'm there like, he's gonna kill everything. No, no. Basically, he's like, uh, how can I say, like the first season of Arrow. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Because these guys were selling illegal mm-hmm. things, so anything that's illegal. I see. And the prophet is like, the prophet is like, the, his dig go to his arrow. I see. Yeah. So it's like support man. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, man. We're gonna be great friends, and I'm like, I want to see that show. <laughs> that's cheesy. I, <laughs> I want to see that show. All right, weep. But no, like the best, the the best teams are the ruined battery, the the um, and prophet and the reaper. Now nah, you forget one more. What is it? I think it was ruined battery and um, outrider. Outrider, the Portuguese oh, one, yes. or Brazilian one. No, I know those guys are in a huddle. No, it's, I think it's I think it's Ruin, Battery, Outrider, and um, Nomad. He was in the group as oh, really? well. Really? Yeah. That guy seems I don't know, like almost no. like an assassin where he works alone. I think he, he, he did one, one of his courses. I work alone. He did. Yeah. Until one day, like because he originally worked with a group, uh, but then they all got off. Right. And he was the only survivor. All right. But then you hear a story. I can't remember whose story it was, mm. but he tells that there's a story. Someone tells a story of how the ruined battery was saved by the um, by the outrider mm. and the prophet. No, sorry, outrider and the nomad. Outrider and nomad. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. So it kind of ma- they're they're the group. I they're see. the team. I see. Well, so he saves both of them, and then yeah. they come together. Yeah. Well, the pyro is just all in the corner of this I love fire. Mm. He's heat wave, basically. <laughs> just burn. I love him, man. Oh, yeah. man. Speaking of which... Finally, some action. That's one of, of his courses. It's just amazing. You, you've you seen Flash and Arrow now. Um, the first episodes that came back since they come back. I haven't seen the second episode. So far, it's just the first the first episode on each. No, that's that's yeah. okay. So, what do you think of the arrow? Because you told me that you love the uh, you like the Flash coming back, but you miss Harrison. You miss um, no, the reverse the Flash. The reverse Flash. So, first and foremost, I want to see where they take the reverse Flash, but because it seems like everything that happened in uh, season one and two, or if we're still, I don't know what season we are in of um, the Flash, two. but so the previous season, yeah. How much is it going to come back to him? I, I imagine something I like there's going to be some like memory surge where he's going to just okay. like no cuz he didn't lose his memory. Basically Okay, so this is a different timeline. Um, yeah, different timeline so it's a completely different reverse flash. No, no, no. But uh, he still hates the flash, okay. I'd imagine. Let me explain it like this. The the reverse flash you met? Yeah. That was literally the end of his story. Okay, I see. The reverse flash you're seeing now is the beginning of his story. So it's a new, yeah, it's like it goes back to what I was saying, yeah, it's a completely new reverse flash. Then. Not really, it's kind of like the old reverse flash, but he, this is but com- a com- different point. Different slate. Yeah, different, different point. Different slate. Think of it as this. Basically, Barry had only just met him, mm. but, but the reverse flash has already met him several times. I see. This is one of those times. I see, yeah. Time travel is, is trippy. Yeah, it is trippy, but I just get the feeling that it'll come back to him. Back. Oh, no, of course it'll come yeah. back. Because there's going to be a point where he comes back and could be Or like, he meets Cisco, and then Cisco, I don't know, had, can find a way to manipulate his powers, and he can say, okay, I can show you a piece of memory here. Mm. Because they're going to be working together if I imagine they're going to try to take down the all-powerful currently right now, which is... Zoom. Zoom. So yeah, I'm just there like, yeah, you're going to need a reverse Zoom. flash. I love Zoom. But I'm still there racking my mind. How did he manage to get that sh- um, that injection on Zoom? Because this guy was, he was all seeing, right? Like, it was almost like he's omnipresent. What are you, what are you talking about? Um, do you remember when Cisco got that injection on Zoom? Oh, oh. Um, did they explain that later or explain- did, you, did you figure it out? Well, I already figured it out, but they do explain why he's all seeing and all that stuff. They explain that aspect. No, no, I already know because he's all he's just really, really fast. But I'm just there, like, hold on, you can see everything, but not that. I'm just there, like, huh? Okay, what happened there? He was just too, you know, when you're just too egotistical, you're just like not focusing. It's like you get your, you take your eye off the ball for one minute. Did you see the way he kicked the asses? I, know, I was there, I like, know. there's no way he could have missed Dude, anything. He, he caught lightning. Exactly. So I'm there, like, he could have missed anything. Like, I think as that, soon as he hears that, 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 that shot f- coming from the, but the you've heard, weapon, you've, I'm there, like, no you've way. You've heard of that saying, tunnel vision, right? 
No, you, you have to explain that. Uh, basically, it's when you're so focused on one particular point, everything around you just becomes like a tunnel. I guess I, yeah, I do do a lot of that. Actually. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I can understand because he was so focused on right now, right there at that moment, killing, killing the Flash. For me, embarrassing. Yeah, him. embarrassing. Could have killed him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it's one of those things that's just like, Cisco was just, I think Cisco was lucky. Yeah. Just in particular. Okay, I just see. Just choosing the right time yeah. at the right moment. I mean, I was there like, he could have been lucky, but no, Zoom is just so quick, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, no way. I love Zoom so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I love just the demon of the, yeah. the demon aspect of, of his look and everything. They really went scarecrow on him, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a good touch, isn't it? Yeah. Super speed with a scary mask and voice. So, what do you think of Arrow? No, it's, it's, I, I'm absolutely glad that it's back. And um, I guess they spoiled it all. They pretty much said who was going to die. Which Did is, they? Um, I think the name was something Fawn. It could have been, yeah, there could have been another body in there, actually, when you think about it. Fawn? Or Fawn P. I, I can't pronounce yeah. it. It was a T-H-O-R-P-E. I didn't, I actually didn't know, to, know the name. It said Emily F or Emily, F something like that. Uh, it's just basically oh. a woman. It's basically a woman. And um, what is it? I knew almost immediately this has to be your mum because... Felicity's back in the car. She looks. I thought she was going to be disabled, right? That's that's what at least what the surgeon said in the last, um, mm -hmm. show that she's going to be pretty much paraplegic. Yeah, she's just there in the Basically, cabin. She's, 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 yeah, and um, what is it? Oliver or the owl gets into the cab. He's like, "Are you okay?" And mm -hmm. she's like, "No, you have to kill him." And I'm just there, like, "That's your mom. Your it's your mom that's dead, isn't I'm it?" I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably yeah. Because I've never seen Felicity like that. Usually she's taken down, but she's like, no, this is personal. Yeah. And I'm thinking, why would Barry be there? Because Barry was there at the um, funeral. Yeah, he did. And, and I'm, I'm there like, you must be, you must know who that person yeah, is. Yeah, because here's the thing. I'm already off the, nah, they're not going to kill off Diggle because Diggle is way too great on that show. I think we're both glad that they didn't kill him off, but yeah. you've seen Stranger Things. Happen. I have, but the thing so, is, yeah. I get the thing they're not going to kill Diggle because. They should it now. Yeah, they should it now. No, because there's also also the whole kind brother of, effect. I know, love it. They've also kind of spoiled that on Spo Hero Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I see. Um, uh, I don't think it's going to be Lance. Yeah, uh, because he's needed at least in putting the police force or whatnot. The and influence, also, and also the fact that his not not now not only is his daughter there, but his other daughter who was mm. dead and is back, and you know. Um. Uh. And I definitely don't think it's going to be, um, what's her name? Red, the, the new Red Arrow. Sorry, Speedy. Speedy. Yeah. They can't kill him off. I, kill her, her. Her off because I, I could just see him crumbling. Her. Her. No, no, no. I can see him as in oh, Oliver, Oliver yeah, crumbling yeah. because he pretty much said it. I can't live without her or I can't go on without her. That's why he brought her to that Lazarus pit. And also the fact that he's already revived her and it's like that would be just a waste exactly going back and back yeah. and just like you know, don't repeat this so yeah I, I'm, I'm starting to think it's the mom now yeah because of oh sorry Felicity yeah okay yeah because it's kind of making sense because she's becoming too much of a focal character mm. and within the episode and it's like yeah the, you know, the reason she's on it so much I'm really thinking that they're gonna kill her off because mm. it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a way to impact the character because it's like it's impactful but it's not impactful to like yeah, main, because she's the main gonna cast. be or she's going to be or she already is the in-law so it's yeah. just like yeah she's family yeah and also that would make sense why barry would be there because he's really good friends with felicity yeah so obviously oh yeah oh yeah yeah so definitely that, that makes sense yeah i can't believe you missed that one yeah because yeah. he is really good friends with um felicity they're very similar yeah so it's one of those things is yeah that makes sense to why he would be there mm. and why she was so upset mm. Because she would be upset for the others, but she was just, she was straight up saying, no, you got murder. Yeah, it was really personal. And I think I know who she's referring to. I just have to say, in the first episode, I've, I don't know if you can remember because I'm sure you're ahead or you're in mid-season or something like that. Yeah, somewhere around that. Some break now, but yeah. What is it? The Arrow managed to get um, Anarchy to sick or pretty much attack his family. When we're talking about his family, we're talking about... Uh, Damien Dark. Damien Dark. Yeah. Damien Dark. He made me laugh because he was like, hold on, that's not my family. When he, when he comes to rescue them, he's like, that's not my family. When the Arrow rescues their family, he's like, 
who are you fooling? I was just there like, who on earth are you fooling, right? But, he's, but then the arrow says, oh yeah, I saved your family. I don't know if he was looking for a favor or whatnot. I don't know, Damien Dark left and he finally was reunited with his family and I couldn't believe what the wife said. Yeah, I did. I was just I was there like, like you are, yes, this is the family that he deserves. I'm there like, you are evil, but at the same time, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just there like, I want my baby mama to be like this actually. Yes. But at you the same time, I was there him. like, what are you doing? He saved your life. What are no, you talking no, about? No, no. You should have killed him. Kill him. Kill him. She's like, why didn't you kill him? I'm there like, even he gave a justified answer. Yeah. It wasn't the right time. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, but wow, that baby mama is uh, just a killer, bro. I want to get know more about her now. Oh, you you are. You okay, will. that's great. She's actually uh, very alpha. Very alpha. I'll say that. You have no idea. <laughs> and I'm just like, mm. can she kick ass? No. Okay. Well, she can, but not, but in more in the Felicity way. Okay. But not in terms of like computer tech. <laughs> oh, She's yeah. just like very good leader. Okay, I see. Mm. But you'll see. Very that, organized. Yeah, you'll see that soon. But yeah, I kind of have an idea who Felicity was talking to, uh, talking about in terms of who Oliver needs to kill. Mm. And and it's kind of not hard to. You don't think it's Damien Dark? Oh, it's not Damien Dark. I kind of, I kind of, it's already, it's, it's in a way kind of. Like, I thought no, that's it. It's Damien Dark. Ain't Damien Dark. So who killed her? <laughs> oh, there's another character that comes into the fold, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah. no, let's spoil that. Mm. But anyway, Legends of Tomorrow, have you gotten to see that one? Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll only be showing up to watch Captain Cold. Yeah. But um, I think one episode has already passed, I'm thinking it's too late. The, but does it play into the both? Um, yeah, because it's like to be continued sort of thing. Okay. I'm thinking that I, I, there's no point of watching it unless it's, it's going to come back to the Arrow and the Flash. Yeah, it is. Then I guess there's I need to get There's actually one episode that... Um, and this is not a spoiler because they do they did advertise it that that Oliver does appear in it, mm. and you're gonna like it because it, it's a quite a cool episode. Now that you mention that, I feel like I might know who they're talking about. What do you mean? Who actually kills the mum? Ah, uh-huh. he's already an arrow arrow cast in it. I'm just saying, like <laughs> he's a bad guy. I know he's gonna show his face in it, <laughs> and I love him. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it for some people. Yeah. I think it might just be him. And <laughs> also, he's been trying to kill him for a long time. It, so hasn't, it's just like, it hasn't actually been confirmed where I'm. I'm at I the think point. I know where they're heading. But on I kind of all is all. I already it's, know yeah. where they're heading. On this. It's one of those things. It's like nah. It's you. <laughs> there ain't no way around it. Like Felicity was okay with it. Like she's like, nah, it's nothing now. But now it's a serious thing. And, but, f- yeah. and think about the one person that even Felicity is saying, "Why haven't you off this fool?" <laughs> I think um, some people can guess where we're going with this. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. I don't anyway, want anyone. It's to... not even a spoiler because it's just like we. Oh, it's speculation. potential spoil- it's spoiler. It's speculation. Yeah. It's all speculation. But I, I can just see, actually, I'm there like, this guy, he's always circling around. It makes sense. Mm. He finally kills somebody and pulls into them. Yeah. But speaking of speculation, or speaking of speculation about a series that, from from one that we love to one that has kind of become one we hate, mm. Naruto. Yeah, so um, I was... The anime. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word furious, but I was pretty much done with it after November. I was done because the, the filler. The manga's over. <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's been a year for you now. So, yeah. um, yeah, so what are they up to now? Yeah, they're still doing fillers. They're still in the dream world. <laughs> so, the turn of 26, three months passing. Yeah. Actually, but no, it wasn't the dream world because uh, Michael, our mate Michael, showed, showed me uh, the recent episode is literally a backflash into Itachi as a kid. Uh, wait. Atachi. Atachi. No, that, no, that's something that might that interest cool. me. That yeah, was cool. That was cool. Because he, he's just like one of my favorite characters. And watching that, it makes me even more furious because it's like... Screw it, he's my favorite character. Itachi should have been one Kokage. of the main characters. No, he should have been one of the main characters. Or still in the show. No, this is what I told Michael. I told Michael, Michael, this I just thought this out. Atachi, Atachi should have been in Sasuke's position. Hmm. Because Itachi is a much better character than than Sasuke. I'm there thinking to myself, I think you can save the world. Why are you relying on your brother? Exactly. And and your brother just fucked up. Like, but I'm just there like, I get it. I do have a brother and that, that love and that connection. It just never goes away, I guess. So. Well, no, but here's the thing. 
and spoiler, this I am spoiling something for mm. anyone who's watching the anime. And the reason I'm just gonna spoil it because I'm gonna tell you why. After I spoil this, Sk- Sasuke ignores his brother's wishes twice now. <laughs> he did, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Twice, uh-huh. like the first time it was literally. All right, after he finds out that his brother um, sacrificed himself. Yep. And killed all the all of his own clan because they were going side really. Yeah, they were going to do a. a, They were going to literally try and take over the Leaf Village, have their own internal war. And he and Sasuke was like, "Fuck that! I hate I hate the Leaf Village now." But no, but it actually did it because he loves the Leaf. Now I hate the Leaf Village. Hmm. Then after he meets his brother, he's like, "Okay, so you're going to help. You're going to help. You know, Naruto and all that." Spiritually, yeah. Sorry, because he comes back as a, as a zombie. Yeah. So he's like, Itachi was like, you're going to help the Leaf Village, aren't you? And mm-hmm. all the Hokages and stuff. And he's like, sure. So that's, this is Sasuke. Right. And then later on, Sasuke is just pretty much, no, I'm going to kill all the Hokages. I'm going to kill the Hokage. I'm going to kill the Mizuki. I'm going to kill the Tesuki. I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> all the motherfuckers. I'm going to control it. these beasts. I'm going to be the most powerful villain in the world. I'm going to be better than Madara. Mm. I was like, no, that's not what Itachi wanted. Fuck Itachi. And you'll never be better than Madara. Exactly. Only Itachi could have been. No, Itachi definitely could have been. Can, I would love to have seen a battle between those two. Hell, alive. K- Kakashi was a better was was honestly was better than Madara than Madara expected. Um, no, oh, better than he expected. Yes. Okay, sure. For somebody who's not born as and also an an, an Uchiha, yeah, he can absolutely agree. Exactly. Yeah. Because even the main the, the the supposed main villain that they revealed in the last minute, mm. she was even surprised by um Kakashi. Kakashi was whooping her ass. <laughs> Uh, and then she got her ass whooped by both Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, Sakura. Yeah, you can't avoid it. They're the free trio. Yeah, they started <laughs> started off as kids, and they have to bring in. But they had to put Sakura in. There. I'm yeah. cool with Kakashi because K- Kakashi was awesome, but uh, yeah. Sakura. So anyway, the reason why I'm pretty much it would have been an amazing flip if they put in um the the girl that ends up with Naruto. I forgot her name. It's funny you mention that because she does play an important part in the film. No, I mean as in, in the main part. Yes, yeah. I know. But no, she becomes the main part in the film. Mm. I'm like thinking, no, because it would have been a, an amazing side way to this whole Naruto and their love interest. Isn't I it? agree. Like, I Naruto ag- sees that she's really brave and whatnot. He's I like, agree, okay. and it makes more sense that she was involved. Yeah, exactly. Over Sakura, no, because the main bad guy also has a um. We call it a buckle gun. Yep. So it was like, why was she not th- not one Huga there? Because yeah. it would have made more sense if she saw the said ah and just made like a small little comment about it. It's just yeah. like <sighs> a lot. But anyway, missteps. Yep. But the reason I'm talking about because all right, so you know the recent game, the Ruto Ultimate Ninja I can't, Generation. I can't remember the name. You're of it. You just tell me now. Okay. But yeah, there's a new there's a new Naruto game out. Mm-hmm. New, uh, there's a pretty much an Ultimate Fighting Ninja Storm something or the other. Mm. They pretty much ended the entire thing as well. The game, this, the main they story. Gave it away. The game literally did the entire story. It's based on the manga, really. It's yeah, literally. They literally said, "Okay, we're done. We're not going to wait for the anime. We are finishing this now." We need the Mola before people start going away. Exactly. Whatnot. Yeah, I get it. So literally, when I say Mola, I mean money for some people. They literally showed you the final scene that the anime still is not at. So that like, people, if you're watching Naruto the anime and you're sick of the fillers, play the game, game. or watch the game on YouTube. Yeah. That literally, watch the manga or play the game. Read the manga or pl- or wa- watch play the game. Whatever. Play you the manga. You play the manga. <laughs> read the manga and play the that game. That would be amazing. <laughs> if you play manga. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they should make a Naruto that just looks more manga-like. Cartoon. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm sure. Paper, te- paper Naruto. I'm sure Telltale will be on, will be on that. Mm. But yeah, so literally. So not only is the manga saying, all right, we're done. Now the game's just like, the, the movies were, were also like, yeah, we're done. We're just going to release this movie that is the end, that literally is after, takes place after the entire ending of the story. Mm. Even the game was like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. This, we, we're going to show, we're going to show the entire ending. The final boss is going to be the actual final battle between Naruto and Sasuke. Boom, done. End of story. But, and it's just like, the anime is still nowhere, nowhere near finished. I don't know what they're doing. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, later, like I said, I gave an up. It, the I've given up. It's become and ridiculous. There's a good reason, and these fillers are just endless. Yeah, it just goes back to the whole bleach thing. They did 
a filler for a year. Yeah. I'm there like, I can't go through that again. I'm just waiting till somebody says, but, yeah, they're actually done with the animated yeah. subtitles. Because at least, no, because at least with Bleach, at least with Bleach, they actually stopped it at a, before they, before, because they, the Bleach is still going on. The manga is still continuing. Yeah. But they were just like, no, 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 no. We ain't going to do this next story. We're going to wait till you're done. We might do an anime after that, but don't, don't take our, don't, don't be like 100% committed on that. Yeah. We're done with the anime. Mm-hmm. Bleach is done. Over. You you ruined it. Goodbye. <laughs> Naruto, but Naruto's just like, no, we're going to try and... We're just going to like, you know... Dance around pace, it. Yeah, yeah, pace it out. Pace it out. But everyone else around her was like, no. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. We are I hit done. Stop it. Just finish the story. Animate it. You've had several... You had several months to animate one... Not even one. Two fights. Two freaking fights. All you had to do was animate that. Done. And you could have been done with this. Instead, you, you, you were wasting time on bullshit dreams. <laughs> I've given up. So it's just like, there's no point of getting angry about it. It's just like, uh, I can anticipate it. So it's just like, whatever. But the thing is, I'm look. <laughs> And the reason I'm getting angry because I got angry particularly about this one part because this part they're ruining yeah essentially if you think about it they're ruining what is an amazing anime by doing this like I won't go far saying it's amazing it is an amazing no, anime it's well you watch a lot of manga and animes yeah you know best in it but I won't say that for, I know, but I would say <laughs> you know a lot yeah. enough enough but um, for people like myself who don't watch a lot of anime. This is really good. Mm. Okay, it's fair. Okay, to be true, it's not the best, one of the best, but it still, it's like you're ruining it as yeah. a franchise. And honestly, after watching this, seeing this one episode with Itachi as a young kid, I'm thinking Itachi should have been Naruto's main rival mm. because one, he was a much better, he was a much better measuring stick. Uh, he would have won outright, if you ask me. But True, but he would have been a much better measuring stick. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He would have been a much better goal to reach yeah. than Sasuke. Two. Naruto would have burned his aim game even more. Exactly. Yeah, even more. Two. His reasoning, his reasoning would be a lot more com- would be a lot more sensible yeah. behind behind his actions. Basically, he wouldn't just blindly go for revenge. Itachi was a thinker. Yeah. It's, this is he's a chess master. Really, Sasuke, sh- Sasuke and Itachi's, um, their point of views and places in the story should have been reversed. Mm-hmm. Sasuke should have been the older brother who killed the entire village, and Itachi should have been the one who wanted to kill him. <laughs> However well you look at it, it's just like, I-, I just got this feeling that they have to kill each other. True, but... Sooner or later, no, I mean, early on I was thinking to myself... One of these two are gonna say, "Yeah, let me just kill him." He's but too true. much of a liability. Imagine how much it more and more sense would it make if Sasuke was like the just the mad brother who killed his entire. Village. I tell you what, there wouldn't be any of this drama or bullshit, exactly. especially at the the whole um, meeting of the, of the five cages. cock yeah, the five. cages. And I'm just there like, what is this? It was really ent- entertainment. Don't get me wrong, but I was just there like, you idiot. You have no chance. You literally went up against five of the most powerful ninjas, and you expected to live and kill at least one. You got I'm there, like you can't even handle the right cocky. Maybe the others. You could one by one. No, because no, because even Gara he was having a problem with, because he could never beat Gara on a on ultimate a, defense. Yeah, yeah on an mm-hmm. even basis. The the closest who got to beating Gara was Rock was a uh, Rock Lee and Naruto who actually did beat him. Mm. Sasuke was nowhere near, especially that Sasuke at the time. Exactly. Yeah, that Sasuke was a fool. He was gonna get melted by a woman just breathing smoke in his face. That was scary, by the way. It was scary, but we're not <laughs> because to... I was thinking because they drew her so nice. I was yeah. like, I would kiss that nicely. No, but <laughs> yeah. After that, you I'm milked. just there like, yeah, you can't get any husband, can you? Because they're just there like, no way. <laughs> and that's that her main to me? trope. It's <laughs> like I need to get a husband. <laughs> and Stop we... breathing fire yeah. when you do that. Yeah, I was, I was coming, having um saliva of lava. Really, it's yeah. just like that's crazy. No. Nah. No, no, no. But that old man, man, that old man's just like, he nope, was amazing. I'm just gonna do, dis- I'm just gonna disintegrate that into whole atoms. particle um, block thing. It yeah. was just amazing. So Sasuke would have been dead uh, if it wasn't for um, Obito. Yeah. With that teleportation, I think. Yeah. 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 I'm just thinking. Uh, Which just brings me back to how naive I was um, of who this supposedly 
quotation. Toby. Toby is uh, yeah. Man- Mandara is oh he was claiming Mandara I was like yeah but the clues was always there and I yeah. was just there I was looking past it they always showed one, one side of his eye when yeah. they closed when they uh, were up close to him I was just there like that's just a like an effect that you're trying to do I was and like, also you bastard and also the fact that he had the exact same technique that Kakashi used mm. I mean I managed to look past it but I was there like didn't he learn that late or he does it he does it less than he never Toby. learned. But, he does it less. If he did yeah. it more, then I would say yes, that is Toby. But the thing is, just it the, takes up a lot be, of energy. Just and whatnot. because he did that that one time, they looked exactly the same of what Toby does. Is like, no, it's obvious. That's Obito. Mm. You can't. You, don't try and be like, oh, this is Madara. No, that's Obito. Mm-hmm. Even then, I don't think Madara was that much of a coward. Anyway, he would find a technique to get out. But oh, Madara was a badass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He took on an entire army by himself. I saw it. It was amazing. <laughs> What who who does that? One well, person. I remember he didn't even use much of that those techniques. He just hand to hand combat. I remember I was just there like, you're doing this as a zombie. You are a freak, a freak, dude. One this th- is godlike. I, I, I oh. had to quote. I had to quote that. It's it, it's maybe a powerful word to use, but he okay. was godlike. One of the best scenes because in the game itself, the the, yeah. the first fights in the story is mm. you as um as the first as the first Hokage mm. against Madara. Mm. They are literally destroying land on mountains, <laughs> roofs, w- just by mi- missing, just, dodging, just, just to prove a point. And yeah. I'm just there, like, oh, are you guys serious? But yeah, I'm still there, like, no, Amanda, I was so overpowered. Like, I, I maybe it's because you, they don't talk too much about mm. um, the first Okage, only that he's the most powerful as ninja or whatnot. But I'm just there, like, based on what I've seen yeah. with Mandara, nobody should have been him. Nobody, no, but agree. yeah, but yeah, I guess the script writers just wanted a peaceful guy to win or the good guy to win. Oh, no, because no one actually beat Madara. If yeah, he still it. survived, didn't yeah. it? So, yeah, but no, no, it wasn't the fact that he still survived. The person that beat Madara was um, Black Zetsu. I thought the one that beat him was um, or tricked him was um, the mm-hmm. first Ukage's brother. No, it wasn't the first Ukage's brother. Um, basically, what happened was. Because it's been a while since I saw it, so yeah. No, I'm talking about the end game. Like where like af- oh, after the ho- basically this whole thing with um how he is now like uh, basically he actually doesn't actually get So but he did use that guy actually when I think about it. uh what's his name? Yamato? No, the half thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who? He used him, right? Well no, so it's actually like he the, needed him. Actually that- it was the other way around because the, the alright. Big spoiler. Right. It turns out Black Zetsu was the one using Madara. Hmm. Basically, he was actually uh, his origin was actually predates Madara, oh. and he was just pretty much attached to him, making him think that he created him. Oh, I see. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, all, so he got played. Yeah, and yeah. basically, when that happened, basically all he did is he unlocked the key inside of Madara because he became the new host for the Ten Tails, oh, which right. actually um, revealed that the Ten Tails <laughs> was actually the mother of Chakra. Hmm. The f- the first the, sorry the sage of six pass mother, mm. who who has not only a baku gun but a shining gun running gun, shining her- gun running gun yes yeah, like a, a fusion a fusion oh my in her, goodness in her, in she her, in is her, crazy in her third eye so those stories were true then she was a monster yeah yeah you have no idea <laughs> she also had the bone get you know I have the, no idea you know the bone gaki genkai guy oh my goodness she had that. Yeah, she had everything. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Actually, she could she warp reality. She could warp reality. I'm not joking. Yeah, that's godlike. Yeah, that's proper godlike. I guess. Yeah. Uh. It was at the point where it, it took both Sasuke. It took both uh, Sage of Six Path powered Sasuke and Naruto mm. with um, Kakashi with two shining gun, temporary shining gun eyes, nice. and a full powered Sakura to beat him, to beat her. Sorry. Uh. So, was that, um, I'm counting four people or five people? Well, technically also Obito as well. Six people. Yeah. Uh. And, and Obito died. Kaji lost his shining gun. Uh. Um, and basically the final blow was dealt by Sakura. Sakura. Yeah. It's almost like they ruin it. Or maybe they're trying to say that we, <laughs> we, we like to incorporate women too. No. Uh, no, I'm sorry. She was a baby, though. She she was 
It really was. Yeah. yeah, let's not talk about her. Yeah. She's, uh, she's a frustrating character. Yeah. 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 But anyway, since we, over, we overlapped our weeks, I want to talk about something that I recently watched. Two things I recently watched mm-hmm. that I got. I Because on Saturday, got myself two Blu rays. All right. Of uh, films I've been I wanted online? to see. No, no, right there. No, you bought it online. No, no, I actually went to HMV and bought it. Oh wow, okay. It was a buy one get one free deal. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so basically, got I got Big Hero Six and Inside Out. Inside Out is. Uh, all right. So for those who's not familiar with these films, all right, I'm gonna talk about Inside Out first. I imagine they're both CGI. Yes. Mm. Um, one was done by Pixar. One was done by Disney Studios, though. Uh, okay. Inside um, Out. Inside Out was basic. I think that's the one done by Pixar. I can't see from here, but Inside Out was basically a Disney film about um, a girl, and you look inside her head, and sh- her emotions are controlling her oh, actions. Oh yeah, so and I, f- I think there was like anger in there. Right, basically, like that? basically the emotions were joy, sadness, nope, um, anger, yeah, uh, fear, and I disgust. There was a lazy one. Though, Dis- there? No, there was no lazy one. Um, and disgust. Yes, I remember that commercial now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or advert. It, yeah. It, was, it, it looked good. But I was just waiting until it comes on TV. But. Yeah. Good film. Mm. Really good film. I really liked it. So they don't focus about the girl, just about those characters. It was, those. it was sort of like a mixture, because the girl was... Co- it's basically a girl going through... Oh, it's, it's, and each emotion was taking over, yeah. Yeah, at certain points. Yeah. It was mainly Joy who was the one who was in charge of everything, because Joy was like, we've got to keep her happy, all that stuff, whatnot. But it's mainly like a coming-of-age story, but it's told in the in the sense, in a way that you see the way her head goes uh, when it's going into age. Yeah. So, yeah, so at one point, you know, she's, she moves to another, to a new place. So she doesn't stay a child. She grows up as well. No, no, no. We, basically, we don't see her grow, but it's okay, like okay. she is like she's hitting that stage where she's changing. Mm. It's a bit because like she moves into a new place, like a new city. I think she moves to San Francisco mm. or something like that. Because she originally lived in Minnesota and it moved to a city. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, she moves into the city, um, whole new place. Doesn't like her house. Doesn't like the this new school mm. or the way the hockey is going mm. and her emotions are just going taking a, like a huge turn mm. and the thing she's starting to feel a lot of sadness joy in her head is trying to is trying to trying to like make sure sadness doesn't inter like interfere with like these memories called core memories mm. it's a long it's a long compl- over complicated thing but i won't go into that so basically joy kind of fucks things up because she wants to keep her happy selfishly she wants to keep her happy but you know, she she then learns that you know she needs to let the girl be sad. You have to let her be sad, man. Yeah, on. like just let her get past that stage. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things. Is it's a really good film. I hate though the character of Joy. You just couldn't stop hating, could you? <laughs> no, trust me. If you saw this film, you mm. would understand the reason why. Because mm. Joy is like, and I, you know that of not Joy. Yeah, that's her name. Exactly, exactly, Joy. So they're gonna be really enthusiastic. So yeah, it's just like, the, when does it get irritating? Now? Okay, you know when you're, they're so enthusiastic, they're trying to control the situation and keep some one person out, despite the fact that that person might actually have a good idea. <laughs> it's like yeah, that. Yeah. Hmm. It's like that person's all. I mean, per- the name says it all, Joy. So I'm just there, like, ah, oh, please get this character out. But it's needed as an emotional whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I'd like to think when I watch this, I'm not going to be surprised. You probably won't. So, yeah. But it's a good film. But I'd be interested in all the other ones. And like, how how do they handle situations? Okay, so um, one of my favorite ones is Disgust, mainly because she's like the she's kind of like the bratty the bratty teenage type, or mm. like the like oh my god that's like so dis- what is that that's disgusting like she was referring Scandalous. to referring to no not like nothing no like that. no it just reminds me of um recess in it uh, yeah those girls something like that but not not as bad <laughs> not as bad okay. yeah because yeah. at one point she was like oh my god that, what is that and that's broccoli and it's like oh god. no you hate it mm. and it's just like don't worry people i just saved us from broccoli <laughs> Yeah. Funny. <laughs> and okay. and anger is just literally just every time he gets angry he's just like oh, like when he takes control of the, the control. When he is just, he not angry? That's a good point. Exactly. So, so I'm like, just there like I'd like to see a, a character named Angry, not angry. That'd yeah. be amazing. So basically but the thing is he like has bursts where he's just on fire. Okay. 
So and he goes OTT when he's mad. Yeah. Okay. And basically, he's just like take when he takes controls of the girl. He's just like the girl. He just makes the girl do like ridiculous things, like have tantrums and whatnot. And, I imagine that that will overcome all of them because she is a kid. But yeah. yeah. And then fear is like the one who keeps her safe. Basically, if like anything is like <laughs> cautious. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds cheesy, but it's so funny. Like yeah. I keep you safe because fear <laughs> consumes everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a me thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things. It's a, it's a, it's actually, it's a very fun film. Mm. I really enjoyed it. Mm. Now the other film, but the film I like better, which was Big Hero Six. Uh. Now the reason I like Big Hero Six, and this is one of be one of the most obvious things. Now imagine San Francisco. Yep. But it's called San Fran Tokyo. Okay. Basically, it's like a weird hybridization of futuristic Japan meet. Meet American civilization. Like, this what? is all a dream, right? It's, it's no a big idea. Or no, that happen- That's the actual place in the, like in the actual in the future or something. All right. So in the, in the movie itself, in the movie, mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm pointing. To people can't see on the podcast. I am pointing to the movie right there. Mm-hmm. That's right there. That feels in, in eye sh- shadow, eye shot of video feel. So basically, I've. It, the premise is set in this fict- fictional place called San Fran Tokyo, mm-hmm. where it's like a hybridization of American and Japan. Okay. Basically, um, imagine, imagine, uh, uh, you so know, Hawaii, pretty much. No, <laughs> imagine Chinatown, but everywhere, every part of the city is Chinatown, ah. but Japan town. Ah. It's not really a state in America, is it anymore? I don't know because they didn't actually go into like e- yeah. the, the comedy or anything like that. But it's one of those things. It's called San Fran Tokyo, so it's, it's like a mixed hybridization. So basically, it we thought the main character is this this super smart kid named uh, Hero. And basically, he he so say Hero. Yeah, Hero. Oh, okay. So yeah, Hero and his brother, who is like a who goes to this college for super smart guys. Mm-hmm. And he meets his friends there, and he gets along there, and he's like, I have to go here. Because he, all he was doing was, like, illegal bot fighting. Hero, that's what he was doing. He was, like, taking his little... I didn't know that was a thing. Bot fighting. Bot. Robots. Oh, excuse me. Ro- not, oh, yeah. Not yeah. bot. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Robots. Okay, yeah, scratch this that would people. Not be, this would yeah, not... scratch that people. Yeah, because I was there like, huh? What yeah. are you talking about? That's a thing. But yeah, yeah, go on. Robots, anyway. Robots. Robot yeah. fighting. So that was more your fault. Then, then, I know Like, was. come on, yeah. So he was doing. He's doing a legal robot fight. His brother like s- stops him. They get caught by the police. Yeah. His auntie, their auntie, basically is like, "You boys, I love you, but come on, man." Yeah. So, basically, um, his brother's like, "Hey, why don't you come and see my college?" And he's like, he was just in love with the college at first sight like, because they were just doing cool science stuff, creating lasers, yeah. you know, explosive powders and stuff like that. He was in love with it. Imagine, imagine you went to a college that l- literally was just ma- made for you. <laughs> then it did everything you loved. Not smoking weed and game, game drinking, having sex. <laughs> yes, I think that's all of them, isn't it? Really? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but for me, yeah. all right. Now, now, scratch that with smoking weed. I yeah, don't do that, yeah, he doesn't do that. Yeah. Now, the funny thing is. Um, you're probably thinking, why do I like this film so much? Because this is the... No, no. I mean, the, the moment you said San Fran Tokyo. Yeah. I pronounced it right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a rap. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah I was just... This is this, like the world I... Over. This is like the world I wish I lived in. Yeah. It was like mm. a mixed hybridization of, of, of Asian and, and Western culture. It's like, this is my dream place. If only it, it was futuristic, but also... It was futuristic. But also, it, it had that um 90s... Not nineties, sixties feel about it, where it's just like no interracial. <laughs> it's just so like that'd be an evil curse for you. No, it? no, no, that wouldn't be an evil curse. <laughs> exactly. Why would you, like, why would you, you ruin you that? You got this me? world, but no, 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 no. no why, do would you ru- why would you ruin that for me? But okay. anyway, that doesn't matter because there are black people in the city as well. Yeah. So it's a cartoon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's about and basically, um, something happens. His brother dies, mm. and he gets he gets like this robot. That his brother was making called um, I can't remember his name of it, but he was like Wait, a, the brother dies. Yeah, sad. Okay. Ha- happens in the first few minutes. Oh. That's one of the things. It's just like um, 
He has to he has to solve the reason why his brother died, like the person who caused it and who's who's been stealing his robots, yeah. using them for evil. Yeah. And he beca- and him and his group of friends become superheroes. What do they use? Uh science technology. That they make their own? Yes. Okay. They each made their own like different type of technology. The black guy named Wasabi, he made laser swords. This the black guy's name was Wasabi. Yeah. No, the reason he's called Wasabi, that's a nickname. The reason he's called Wasabi... That's a good nickname. Well, the reason he's called Wasabi, because he actually... Hot and spicy. No, he comments on, no, he comments on it. It's uh, like, you spill Wasabi sauce on your shirt one time. Oh, you, I see. Yeah. yeah. And then you get na- labeled that. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then there was Gogo Tamago. Better name. She, oh, dude. But at she, the same time, it sounds like Gogo Gadget <laughs> something. Like, I'm just why like, do you say that? Because uh, her technology is she was working on a, a, um, a ma- an electromagnetic bike. Hmm. So basically, she took the electromagnetic mag- wheels and put it on her suit, and so she was just like going around, speeding around on like wheels on her feet, <laughs> like, <laughs> like skates. Nice. And she could use it like a frisbee. So she was like a combination. And just throw it and then come back to so you. Yeah. She was like a com- so she was like a combination of Captain America and the Flash. Ah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's actually my favorite character. You know why? Because she was Asian, and the type of Asian I love. I mean, like, you sound really creepy on the mic. Here. I will say, and trust me, every <laughs> don't time, yourself, every right, time I on, mention man, that, I this. sound creepy when I mention yeah, this character. Okay. But you have no, I will show you a picture of why, and you will understand why. Are you sure I would understand? Remember, it's in my, animated. In me. In me. Uh, okay. You understand from oh, okay, me. okay, fine, yeah, yeah. Why I like this okay. character. All right. But yeah, there's, all, there's also other characters that. I won't go too long about, but it's, it's a real film. <laughs> they didn't care about them. <laughs> I really didn't. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Really, I didn't even care about the main character. I cared about the, the female. Let's, I'm just going to be completely honest. Wow. Notice she's a child, yeah? Notice I didn't say something. No, she's actually she's in college. Uh, oh, excuse me. I was thinking the little boy. No, no. Okay, yeah. Go on. Yeah. And even he would be like somewhere around 18 to do the stuff he's been doing. Mm. <laughs> I imagine. But so, yeah, so. No, I think he was 16 or something like that. Still a child. Because. Uh, Cause I think and he's an American law. Yeah. No, but she's like definitely 18. Yeah, yeah. she's an adult. Yeah. yeah. A young adult. Yeah. I would hope. No, no, she is. Trust me. Yeah. All women in there. Anyway. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway. Is it a good age in most, most states in America? 21? But are you comfortable? Can, can you actually say she they, the anime is due her over 21? Yes. Okay. We're done with this. Yeah, continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's a great film. I mm. really liked it. Mm. I, I thought the, the action was actually really well done. It was really well paced. That's the reason why it looks so good. Mm. As I, I, I'm just looking at these. Because in the credits, I'm actually paying attention to credits. Because seeing how many people were on the animation of this thing. Cause and who played the Asian girl? I can, I actually know. Oh, I actually know her name. Cause she, cause you see her like some t- small, like some minor. I'm roles. thinking that's what you were looking at the. No, because <laughs> I, I actually don't like her. Uh, okay. Not, not that I don't like her. It's like she's okay, but it's like this character in particular. Like, I like the character more mm. than than the actress. Yeah. Yeah. But I know was it uh, Amy Chung or something like that. She plays like a lot of things. Wait. I need more. Yeah. Other than the name, I mean like. So we're actually gonna go on Google. I'm oh, going you're on gonna Google. go on Google. I'm going on Google. I thought if you can just give me um one film, I could probably piece it together. No, because the films are like or TV shows. Ah, yeah, but anyway, one well, well that's oh my computer's so slow at the moment. You got a search bar? What? Oh yeah, it is. It's just loading. Yeah, it's loading. It, that's nah, you need to refresh. It's done loading. Ah. Oh. And playing up, but anyway, the film is good. I really enjoyed both Big Hero Six and Inside Out, mm. and I recommend people go watch that. No, it's good that you actually watched the movie that you can say, "Oh yeah, yeah, that was worth my time." Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna come up. It's it not pro- interested in what. You're oh no, here it is. is that one, Jamie Chung. That's it. Uh can I get a close up on that? Yes. No, that I'm interested. I just want to see. No, no, I know. I'm just trying to. F- I've, I don't think I've ever seen her before. She plays a lot of things, but like, 
very small roach. That you... She reminds me of um the Oriental British girl. Hold on. I hope I don't sound no. like that. Like no, 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 no. I, I know who you're talking about. I okay. know who you're talking about, but I... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nope, 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 nope. No. Oh, it's just Sucker Punch. The man with the iron fist, I heard about that, but I don't know. I didn't yeah. know that she was in it. Hangover no, Part 3. No. I have not Wait. Seen. I can't remember that. That film was terrible. Uh, <laughs> no, it really was. I haven't, I've only seen the first one. Um, Year of the Change, no. It's already tomorrow in. Nope. Flock of. No. Okay. Let's go down. It's a television show. So, okay. Yeah. Much better. Veronica Mars. Um, no. Wait, she was I haven't watched Mars? that. ER, I don't watch that. NCIS, don't watch that. Geek, no idea. Samurai Girl, no. I don't know about that. What does that say, Castle? Yeah, Castle. I don't watch it. Grey's Anatomy, I stopped watching it after season one or two, whatever. Why do you not watch Castle? It's a good show. It's not that I don't watch it. It's just, uh, like I said, so many great TV shows. It's just like, uh uh-uh. I understand. Upon a Time, nope. Believe, no idea. Oh, she's Mulan. She is? Yeah. (laughs) No way. We could have just ended it there. No, yeah. No, and, she's, and once upon a time, she's Mulan. You dick. Get out of here, man. I thought you were talking about Mulan, no, no, the, no, no, the, no, the not anime. The, not the, no, no, not in Disney. Ah. Uh, no. So, no, no, no. And what, X Men Destiny? Huh, she was? Oh, video game, video game. Yeah. No, so all, all TV shows and movies, I can't. I don't know her, I don't recognize. Uh, so, essentially, I don't know her. Yeah. But anyway, she's not the one that's important. It's their character. Mm. It's the character that you... that It's the character that I care about. And I'm going to show you the picture now. Go, go, Tamago. Yeah. You have got to be kidding me. They drew her like a kid. Maybe I need more images. No, you, I... you need to see something like her actually... Like when she's moving or whatnot, because she's, <laughs> well, she's moving. Because the thing is, she, oh my goodness, she, right. is, she is the tiniest uh, one. Oh, she is the tiniest one. Oh wow! But no, she doesn't. She is not a kid. Trust me. If anything, she's the, if anything, she's the, she's probably the more manly one of the of the group. She is of age. Don't look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. Do not No, how did I look at it? I'm just looking at you You're like giving me a dismissive uh, look. No, do you know what a dismissive look looks like? I I've taken several. Yeah, that's a dismissive look. Right. Um I thought there was more to it, like should be explosive or something, but because it's uh it's animated and, um they it's mostly um targeted at kids. Yeah. They are not gonna do much. I understand. I understand. It's just I was expecting more. I and, it, and also, was it you might not like this, but she looked more American than. Well, of course, because it's, it's Oriental. A, it's a hybridization of, of American Western. You could have led them with that. Um, oh, I must have missed that one out. You probably did. No, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Dude. I guess. Yeah. Mm. But um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a film that you recommended to us. Um, but yeah, going back to I um, will admit I bought that for all the wrong reasons. But yeah, no, nah, that's fine. Go that's on. fine. Um, you're celebrating something, right? So, um, yeah, going back to House of Cards. Mm-hmm. At last, after what thirteen months, I've been waiting. Mm-hmm. More than that, probably. The new season's out, and um, I only managed to see. Half of the first episode, unfortunately, because I had um, internet issues with mm. my Xbox. And I think it's just a temporary thing. But yeah, I can't wait to get on it. Um, it's just looking good. Mm. It's looking absolutely good. I hope they bring back um, my guy, um, Remy Dunton. That was his character's name. Amazing character, but that's just a me thing. Mm. Um, the wife, it'd be interesting to see what they do with um, Claire Underwood. Because uh, she, she's growing on me. Or oh, I've mentioned that before. Like, she, she's the one. Like, <laughs> she's more like the man in the, the relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, like, don't don't get me wrong. Uh, like, um, Kevin Spacey's character, Frank Underwood, it ain't, ain't no bitch. But, yeah, she's the one that you look at and you're like... That's where that quote actually comes from. Behind a great man is a great woman. And she mm-hmm. is a great woman. But, yeah. 
I think that's all. That's what I have to say about House of God. No, that's okay. That's it. Mm. I have nothing to say on it because I still haven't seen it. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, I remember um, a few people saying, oh, yes, I've watched it, but I don't like how Kevin Spacey is almost degrading himself with that southern accent or whatnot. And I'm just there like, ah, like a waste of potential is what they're trying to say in it. But I was just there like, if you can manage to look past that, but they say they can't. What is people with southern accents, man? Just getting it. Or maybe no, you know, they were just pretty much saying he can do so much more. Why? Why are they trying to degrade him? About yeah, I think that's just a damn them, them thing in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, next week Daredevil. Mm. I mean, I saw the date on Netflix. It said the 18th on yep. their light. Is that next week? That's next week. No, seven days. Oh, next week, probably Saturday or something. No, yeah, probably yeah. next week, Friday. Because they usually they, they tend to bring those things out. I don't have Friday. a calendar in front of me, so I'm um, trying not to judge me, please. <laughs> but next week, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll get right on it. You're looking at a calendar? Yeah, because it's right behind me. Right there, on the wall. Yeah, but it looks a bit next week. Uh... That's too far away, I can't see. Yeah, next week, Friday. You went with the whole Star Wars one. <laughs> yeah, that was a gift Lover. for Mmm. You have no idea. <laughs> I love her. I've just been loving because you know how last week I was talking about. I'm um, still waiting for a star trooper to appear in your room. Like just, I yeah. actually have a one a stormtrooper onesie. That's what I meant. Yeah. 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 It's over there in the corner somewhere. But um, no, because yeah, because I just honestly I I think I've been doubling down on the Star Wars thing. Yeah. Uh, recently, because it's like one of those things. Um, I've been getting into these. I've you know, I told you I was getting into these Star Wars versus videos, mm. and I've also been getting into like these podcasts when they talk about these characters and um, lore and stuff like that. No, actually, you didn't. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't. No, no. Well, no, I've just recently been getting like going into like this these podcasts about the lore and whatnot. Like this one called the Jedi Council on YouTube, which is they still have a lore, huh? I'm just there. Like the whole Jedi thing is being crushed, right? They're the only people who can pick up the force. But you're talking about the law. I'm there like, are you referring back to Basically, episode ens- one and two? Encyclopedia and all that stuff. Oh, all okay, the history. okay, yeah, go on, yeah. And, al- and also, some of the law... I, I thought you were referring to the movies. No, that. no, some of the law that predates movies, like books and stuff like that. Mm. Like characters that we've never seen on, on the, the, the big screen or on television. Mm. And it's one of those things, it's kind of a shame, because some of those characters are actually quite cool. Mm. Like one, like like one of the most beloved characters is from a video game, a Star Wars video game, which is called um, Revan. Didn't play it. Yeah. Basically, because uh, I I've started playing the game. Basically, Revan is this badass Jedi. It was it was like the most, but it was the best Jedi warrior in the, uh, in the Jedi Council. What color was his lightsaber? Um, blue, I believe. Damn. But he wore a he wore a badass. I don't know. I just wanted. Something different other than green, red, and blue. I'm just there, like, really? That's what it is, there was yellow at the time. Yellow's all right, but I'm just there, like, nah. And Give me something, I don't know, sleeker, like gray. Yeah, there was a gray, um, in the, in the, um... Oh, purple. I imagine there's already purple. In right the there. legacy story, in the story, after they continued it in the, in the books, after the movies, mm. there was, a, there was a, a third group called the Imperial Knights. Where they were basically force users who were kind of like in between. Mm-hmm. And the lightsabers look like swords. No, they're the gray effect. Literally, it's just white blades. They literally. Oh, white blades. Yeah. And literally, they were just knights. They were just like pretty much. We're just here to, you know, create order and serve our imperial majesty. Yeah. Huh. But, but you know, it was. They never lasted. <laughs> oh no, they lasted quite long. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Because the thing is, they were like in between Jedi's and Sith. They were like. They were they undecisive. I no, guess. they weren't undecisive. They were more like grey. <laughs> As they call it. Um, I don't know. I feel uneasy about people who are grey. It's just like no. That's how I tell you. No, if you're on the dark side, mm-hmm. on the Jedi side. So it's just like there's no in between here. Well, apparently there is. I don't know how they managed to find a way, but I'm just there. Like, can you imagine it? Can you be in between in yes. that world? Yes. Yes. Because the the world is more than black and white. There is a grey. Get out of here, man! You be a Sith, and you know it. <laughs> Why are you talking rubbish? 
I had uh, a question that recently because I was thinking, would I be a Sith or would I be a Jedi? Okay, would you be a Jedi with a whole ape um oaths and whatnot? Here's the thing. I think and not not dating, not marrying, no, and no, whatnot. I'll be one of those Jedi's. I'll be like, fuck that. Exactly. So end of the day, well, the thing you is, either go and do your own thing, no, or no, you're with the but Sith. The thing is, I don't think I would be a Sith either because I wouldn't. So you do your own thing, like Count Dooku. But Count Dooku just be, straight became a Sith. But then he left, right, to do his own thing. No, he literally straight up became a Sith, and then he died a Sith. Oh, okay. I mean, he was wearing the whole outfit or whatnot. Yeah. But... No, I think I would be, like, in between. I'd be more, like... I would be... Because it's not really a character, like... Because it's not really a character who's been demonstrated that much. Um, I, I think I would be... Uh... I would like to say I would like to be like Luke, but I don't think I would be making out of my own sister. Ah, oh, come on, man. That happened several times. Oh, man. In the story. In the movies, it happened twice. It happened in the first movie, it happened in the second one. Now I understand why, or why subconsciously, I haven't been watching the originals. Oh, no, you go watch the originals. That's yeah, I'm just there, uh, like, you kissing your sister, even though you don't know. I'm there, like... How do you think, how do you think he... They were twins, it? right? Yes. And I'm, as well, and I'm just there, like, ah... How do you think he feels? Not only did he kiss his sister in the first one, he wanted to make out with her. He, he Thank won- goodness he didn't. Yeah. yeah. Then he kissed her in the second one. Brief, actually, let me. Who re- broke the ice? Actually, I want to. It know. was actually her. It was actually all her. She knew. No, she didn't know. Oh, okay. No, what I'm saying, she's the one that kissed. That kissed. Yeah, that kissed I imagine. She, yeah, he rescued her, right? Yeah, but so. she, but he kissed her. Sorry, she kissed him. Right. Then in the second one, she, again, she kissed him. To make uh, Han jealous, knowing that that's her. No, no, they didn't know. They still didn't uh, know. Okay. Then it, in the third one, he rescued her when she was in the golden bikini, and he's all like, he was grab, he basically grabbed her, picked her up, and this is what I'm talking about. They plant this seed right early on. <laughs> what that was? That was made what in the 60s or something? I get, I, no, I, I don't know. No, I think it was it's hard. 70s. No, something, something. 60s uh, doesn't sound right. The 70s or the 80s. Yeah. yeah. You're going to plant this seed of kissing another dude just to make another guy jealous. I'm just there like... You oh, I thought you were talking about incest. That too, but yeah, yeah. That's how it starts. You're kissing the dude to make the other guy jealous. What What kind of... I, I, I like to think back then you're thinking to yourself, okay, you kissed him, you're interested in him, we're done with it. I'm I, moving on. Well, at the time I was watching, I was a kid, I was watching, I was like, I, all I thought, I didn't even think about it because I was just going, oh, it's your sister. And think, but <laughs> going back now, <laughs> like it's another thing. Oh, you kiss your sister? Okay. Oh, yeah. No, but going back now, I'm like thinking, oh, you made out with your sister? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And you wanted to make out with your sister? Yeah. And then in the in the third one, not only did he like he saves her because she was in the, go- in the in the gold the famous the infamous gold bikini. Right. And and then he goes back to um Yoda as on his dying bed. He was like, and then Obi Wan like breaks the ice and says. Yeah, Leia's your sister. I'm thinking, how does Luke feel just finding out the woman he's been making out with? <laughs> or technically the woman that's been making out of him? I don't know, I'll probably kill him. <laughs> he's already dead. I mean, he's dying. No, I, no. Oh, the whole spirit comes, he speaks in spirit form or what? No, no he's dead. Oh, okay. He's literally... I thought the, the, he's moment, what, the moment you said, um, was it dying bed? Oh, no, that was Yoda. Yoda. That Yoda, was Yoda. Did, Yoda didn't even say anything. Okay, it was it was, it was Obi-Wan who did it, and Obi-Wan was dead at that time. Okay, whatever that was, a hologram. No, ghost spirit. A ghost spirit. I'll just slash that ghost spirit, man. you like, come on. It doesn't work that way. He, yeah, I mean, it's not going to happen. Like, nothing's going to happen, but yeah, just out of frustration, like... And the thing is, he actually tells her later on. Like, when they're alone, he tells her. And the funny thing, while this is going on, Han is getting like some mixed, mixed, mixed signals. He's thinking like, what mixed signal? She's interested in him. I'm there. Like this is the yeah. But he's thinking, all right. But maybe she has a thing for Luke because Luke is the whole cool Jedi, you know, laser right. sword sort of thing. You I'm know? there. Like, no, you kissed him because you're interested in him. And then we're done with it. At one point, he literally confronts her, saying, "Oh yeah, well you can tell Luke, right? Because he's actually like, the jealous girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> And then at a later point in the ba- during the battle, um, Leia's injured, and he's like, she's like laying, she's laying there. And after this is after they win, the the the, the second Death Star blows up. Um, Han is going. I'm sh- I'm sure Luke made it out in time. And like she's like, I know. He's 
I know that using referring to referencing the fact that they can force feel each other's essence because they're force connected psychically. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh. And then um, Hannah's like, "You love him, don't you?" Mm. Thinking that yeah, she wants to get she wants to get the the, the, um, the loot nookie. And then she was like, "Of course I do." And then he was like, uh. and he's like, "I won't stand away." I I understand. And then she like holds him. And is like he's my brother. And then he's like, he's smiling. And he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like thank God. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. But then then you have to think about this. He made out. And it, if I was here, I'd be like, wait, hold on. You made out with your brother. Get out of here. <laughs> You'd have been like, you made out with your brother. <laughs> It's cool, you're Asian. So get the best. <laughs> <laughs> you're Asian. Get the best. It's gonna happen anyway. <laughs> like, you guys do it like some type of incest anyway. So like, come on. I won't lie. That. that so. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. Uh, but, uh, but that was his reaction until he just kissed her. Hmm. The moment he found out. Oh, oh no! Yeah. yeah, that wasn't his reaction. He just kissed her. Yeah. I'll be like, hold on. So you kissed your brother in front of me just to make me jealous. Like, what is wrong with you? I wouldn't even kiss her about that. I would. Think well, about, I'd just be doing the dating thing. Think innit? about it this way: her father is an is an imperial killer. Sorry, <laughs> is a Jedi killer. He's an imperial asshole. Mm. He, he literally chokes people with his mind mm. just for shits and giggles. Mm. <laughs> her brother is kind of a whiny is a kind of a whiny, whiny guy. Mm. So she wanted. And, different. Yeah, and she's in love with a guy who is literally who she argues with constantly, and who's best friends with a giant walking carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's not like a carpet. Come on, man, that's terrible. No, he's been car- compared to a, a walking carpet. It's called a Bigfoot. I call him Chewbacca or Chewy. Chewbacca. Yeah. Yeah, let's stick with Chewbacca. That looks like Bigfoot. <laughs> so yeah, just... you know. Uh, you know the Star the Star Wars in terms of its romance is fucked up. Kind of. No, it is. It, yeah, because it starts from the beginning, which is the prequel, where this guy is trying to. Okay, here's the thing. They I've recently found out something about Padme. Uh, she was 14 when she was when she was in in um. Yeah, I remember episode that. Episode one. Really? Because they never mentioned that. Well, she she was a teenager for me. But, but what I know was. That. Yeah, okay, they don't mention that. All I remember was um, Anakin was younger than her. Yeah, well, five her. years, five years. And I'm just there like, there's no chance. Like, <laughs> you have to wait until you're both in your 30s or yeah. something like that. There's no chance. And then he waited. But, wow. What persistence, man. It's not just persistence. I would have just given up. But here's the thing. Now, that whole Jedi Council podcast that I, lis- I, I listened to, mm. um, one of the person on it, he mentioned he mentioned something on his channel Brit, that mm-hmm. actually just made sense to me. It's like the whole romance was f- was fucked up. Yeah, and it's basically one of those things is the girl should have knew to run by the imme- like the immediate signs, because and this is not in episode one. This is in episode two, when he literally comes back and says, "I mur- I murdered an entire clan of of people, including the women and children." Is that um, the part when mom gets killed off? Yeah. For me, that was justified. No. He killed the women and the children. He spared no one. Meaning, he is a psychopath. They killed his mom. That's the only thing he cares about. And for me, it's just like... Yes. For you, the psychopath, for me... He kills like, the children. Doesn't matter. The, Doesn't matter. The that that was genocide. Innocent. It was genocide. And yes, you can say he's a psychopath. But I'm just there, okay. like his love for his mom was so intense. He just said, "But the things everybody I, dies." I'm not even talking about that. That's not the problem. The problem is he told this to her, and her immediate reaction was to cuddle him instead of running away. Like, what would be your normal reaction if a girl comes back tells you she just killed an entire group, an entire family within a house? Is there reasons for it? Well, I, I don't know if I'll ask that, but it's kind of like, can I suspect what the reason is? And if it's justified, I just say... But what if she told you she killed she killed every single one of them with her bare hands? Mm. Again, this is a touchy subject for would me. Would you I'm... stay? No, the question is, would you stay? Cause did I'm they t- murder their mom? Or that, that guy's mom? Or that girl's mom? Let's say one of them did, like a hit and run. 
let's use a more realistic approach, like a hit and run. I can learn to live with it. That's just a me thing. Yeah, that's you. I'm I'm out. Okay. I'm out. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the tendencies of a psychopath right there. If you <laughs> if you kill not just the person involved but the the children. It was genocide. It really was. But, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. He really lost it, man. I mean, like he he just saw his mom die. I don't this. care. You it's don't. not like somebody just told you your mom to die. You just see her I dying. Can, I can understand like, him killing the men. The men. Maybe even I can, maybe it's slightly the women. It, he did. He did cross the browns. But I mean, the children. There's, there's no looking past it. You should have spared the women and the children. But I'm just there, like, no. He was. That was just blind sight rage. And but like I said, the problem isn't so much his reaction. His reaction, I think, is actually normal. It's her reaction to him telling her this. I mean, when I saw that, I was just there like, you hug him, I don't get it. But then I'm just there like, you know what he's about. You grew up with him. It's, I'm just there like, that love and friendship is there anyway. So she's just there like, oh, I'm so sorry for your mom and whatnot. Hug. Maybe it'll help. help maybe it'll help him. No. But it enabled him. It, it really did. Him. It enabled him, really. So Because guess what he did next? He killed all the Jedis, including the women and children. Wow, how did I miss that? <laughs> wow, Literally, I just completely there was missed that. Scene I just did, like... When he's walking into the Jedi, the, the Jedi, the Jedi temple, he goes into the chamber where the kid, the little kids are the little kids. And I'm talking about little kids, like toddlers and stuff, whatnot. And they're just like, Mas Master Anakin, what should we do? And he just lights his ignites his lightsaber, and it cuts. <laughs> <laughs> to the next scene. <laughs> the next scene. <laughs> yes, I remember now. I was just there, like. Uh, but it was confirmed. He killed them kids. I mean, it didn't need to be confirmed. You just common sense applies yeah. here. Yeah, he he did it in front of the kids. I think they even twitched as well. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah I was, they, they would twitch like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's evil. But I wanted to see it. I wanted to see him do it. But <laughs> I, I just wanted to see if he had the balls to do it. If, but he did, no, obviously. Yeah. But no, yeah. I wanted to see if George Lucas had the balls to show it. <laughs> But yeah, wow! I, I just completely missed that. I guess so. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while for me. So yeah, yeah. But things like that. But he just... was a psychopath. Um, but he was also blind. He's, he's just like one of those few people. You say blind he's seeing rage. You say he's a, a psychopath, or you can pretty much claim suggest he's a psychopath. But for me, mm. his emotions get the best of him, and I can't say, well. I can argue if he's a he's a psychopath, but I'm just there like no, your emotion just got just gets the best of you. And yeah, but the, but at the same time, I, I I forgot what led up to why he killed those kids. So why is it? Uh, what do you mean? Like when oh. he, when he committed genocide with that whole um clan, really? So it's because the mom was dead. Yeah. But now what's the situation where he slaughtered all those kids? Uh, so basically, um, he was having dreams of uh Padme dying, visions. Fucking nuts, yep. man. That's and just dreams. That's just dreams. It's not like it actually happens, but yeah. And the thing is, the one person he told, it was the one person who was pr probably putting those dreams in his head. Who's that again? It was the Emperor, the pa uh, Palpatine. Oh, right, I see, yeah. And it turns out he was the Dark Lord. So he was using his emotions against him, and Pretty it, much. It, when you really think about it, it's almost like he hypnotized him. Yeah. So... This one does. I'm trying to argue, but no. Yeah, he was, I, he was fucking. I, I lean on that. That I, it's for me. I'm. It's not a certain he's a psychopath, but I lean on. No, that. He's you, you'll say you'll say I'm nuts, but I lean on it because th those two are pretty much. Yeah, like it goes back to what I'm Dude. saying. He he he's he's um he kills the woman. He killed the woman. The main reason that he was turning to the dark side. He literally. Kills he's blinded her. by his emotions. So. In, in a way, that's what love is all about, really. So, yeah. I'm trying to defend him, but I don't blame you if you say he's a psychopath. He is a psychopath. There is no way around it. So, you, it's just blatant and obvious. And for me, I'm just there, like, I'm trying to see it. I can excuse or I can... Um... Maybe turn the cheek if you want to act that. <laughs> and just say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah. clearly... I won't say I wasn't. I won't say insane. He just had a lot of problems. Yeah, a lot of problems that yeah. he did not properly air out. 
But yeah, on that very happy note, it's time to end the podcast, people. Anyway, thank you for joining. Mm. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. And also ch- check out my Patreon page. You can donate a smaller donation, and you can get to see the access of this pretty video version of the podcast and other videos that I've uploaded just for you Mm. your eyes only Mm. so thank you for joining us we'll be sure to talk again anyway say bye bye for you say that like I'm a pet like nah 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 I'm not gonna do it now bye bye folks